Hi folks, David Creative Craft House to show you a very interesting historical cipher de device. It's called the uh, Alberti cipher. It uh, originates from uh, approximately 1467 by a brilliant uh, Renaissance uh, genius named Italian, uh, Al Al um, Leon Battista Alberti. Best known as an architect, but apparently a genius in many areas, a poet to a philosopher, a lawyer, mathematician, engineer, etc. And he came up with this um, cipher, uh, which is can be used in a relatively easy fashion or in an extremely secure fashion. Uh, none uh, survived, uh, so we know this exists from his writings. It is thought to have been used for um, high-level secret use within the Vatican. Uh, it is made in our uh, Hudson, Florida shop. Um, it's really kind of nice. It's I used a floorboard backing uh, with text on here, which gives it nice weight and rigidity. And then the outer disc here is uh, stationary. Uh, and this is made from alder, uh, which laser is particularly nice. The inner ring here rotates. Uh, it is made from uh, maple. And the outer face plate here is uh, alder. Um, the font and text here I tried to duplicate as close as I could uh, from Al uh, Alberti's writings. Uh, we do not know what actually existed on the, the face plate. As I said, no example. Uh, no physical example exists anymore. So we did something we thought uh, looked uh, cool and timely and added a, added a Latin phrase here, um, uh, silentium es errorum, silence is golden. This was uh, primarily used for, uh, you know, for, uh, 15th century Latin uh, translations. It's an interesting uh, disc uh, in that it uh, is uh, the first true example of a polyalphabetic cipher device using two similar, uh, two, two dissimilar alphabets. The inner wheel and the outer wheel are, are not the same. And there are some letters missing, um, partly because they didn't exist in 15th century uh, Latin, and partly because uh, it increased the complexity. Now there's some very simple workarounds for these uh, missing letters. And rather than get into that, I'm going to you know, say that I have an instruction set for this puzzle, which is um, second to none. It, it was written in incredible detail uh, by Michael Healy of uh, Tennessee, who has a website called uh, Ciphertown USA. Um, it is just, I mean, I, and this is just to give you an idea, it's, it's um, essentially six pages in a code sheet here, um, which will uh, get you in depth uh, the technique for using uh, this particular puzzle. You can create some incredibly um, uh, secure uh, codes with this thing. And even using it in the most simplest fashion is going to be very secure because nobody else is going to have one of these. If you don't have one of these discs, even a relatively simple uh, coded message um, um, could be considered quite secure. Uh, I expect that uh, uh, Mike, Michael will um, be creating something on YouTube to explain some of the details of how to use this. So to keep this video of reasonable length, I will, I will end it here. If you have questions, uh, feel free to contact me. Um, as far as I know, this is we're the only ones in the world that are make, making this, and that would be true for, for many, many years. I don't know that a physical example uh, has existed for a long time. I hope it's something you can enjoy. We have a, we we try we love to do historical items. Um, we've done other ciphers: the Confederate Army, the Union Army, the Mexican Army uh, cipher, uh, and a series of Enigma machines of my own design. So if it's something that interests you, uh, be sure to take a look at our website. Okay, thanks very much, Dave from Creative Craft House.